In this video, I'll be going down the TikTok rabbit hole and reacting to tax advice and comments made by social media creators. I have no idea how cringe this is going to be, but I know it'll help debunk some common myths around taxes online and when planning to move overseas for tax residency purposes. I'm in Dubai, most people don't realize it's full zero tax and they're like, no, no, I don't get it. Like, but what's the stipulation? No, there's no stipulation. It is 0% corporate, 0% dividend, and 0% income. So the best part is I can go to Dubai, I can clean 50 million, be left with 50 million, and I can return back to UK with 50 million to 100 million, and then never pay tax on that ever again. And in this like internet game, you can build the same business from Dubai as you can build here. But you're, we're getting taxed and you're not. So you're automatically having an advantage of like, you can grow faster. Dubai and the United Arab Emirates indeed provide one of the most appealing tax environments globally. Personal income tax is non-existent, standing at 0%, and there are no withholding taxes on dividends. And in terms of zero corporate tax, this is no longer true, as the UAE recently introduced a 9% corporate tax rate for UAE registered businesses which generate over 100,000 US dollars annually, although this still remains considerably lower and far attractive than countries such as the United States, where federal corporate income tax is at 21%, and the UK, for example, which has a corporate tax rate of 25%, and take Canada, which has an astronomically high tax rate of 38%. To not pay US tax, you have to renounce your citizenship. So even if you move from the US, you move to Dubai, get your company set up in Dubai, everything's in Dubai, you're there all year long, you will still pay US global citizen tax unless you renounce your US citizenship. For Canada, for me, I can keep my citizenship and pay zero tax and still be a Dubai tax resident. It's beneficial for me, but that's why you actually don't see a lot of US People move there. While this is true that US citizens are taxed on their worldwide income, there is something called the Foreign Income Exclusion, which allows US citizens to exclude up to 120,000 US dollars annually from their foreign income. However, this only applies to income tax and wouldn't exempt you from paying self employment tax on foreign income when working as a freelancer or running a business abroad. A key strategy for US citizens is to obtain citizenship from countries which offer very low or zero tax rates on income and wealth, such as St. Lucia or Dominica in the Caribbean, and then renounce your US citizenship and combine this with getting a residency in a tax-friendly place such as Dubai. And when it comes to Canadians, if you reside outside of Canada for more than 180 days per year, you wouldn't be taxed on any income you generate abroad, but it's not that simple. There are various requirements such as demonstrating less ties which is based on factors such as if you have a home or any dependents residing in Canada, if you want to be truly considered as a non-resident. Why renouncing your US citizenship might be a good idea. In the US, you pay 40% taxes, and you do that regardless of where you are in the world. Unlike the UK or Canada, you can't really go to Dubai as a US citizen and pay 0% taxes, because the IRS wants a cut regardless of where you are. But what if you could pay 0% taxes by living in a country like Monaco, UAE, or the Bahamas, where they have no income tax, or taking up citizenship in a country like Malaysia, Singapore, where you only pay taxes based on the money that you make inside of that country itself. Which, spoiler alert, if you're a digital nomad, likely won't be the case. What do you think? Am I foolish? Am I giving up my God-given liberty by even proposing something like this? Or am I onto something? Let me know in the comments. Americans are taxed globally on their income, irrespective of where they reside. Did you know that one in four Americans are seriously considering or planning to renounce their US citizenship according to a recent survey. Taking citizenship of countries such as Malaysia or Singapore is extremely difficult and almost impossible. For US citizens to be completely tax-free, obtaining citizenship from countries which actually offer citizenship by investment options such as Malta, Turkey or the Caribbean is a more realistic and viable option. Dominica is one of the best citizenship by investments in the Caribbean. It starts around $100,000, which is a donation to the government and goes to $200,000 for a real estate investment. The process takes around four to six months to complete and the passport gets you visa-free travel to around 132 nations and they do not require you to spend any time in the nation to hold the passport. So this is a very popular passport among wealthy people that want to secure a second citizenship. Follow me, the Bitcoin Capitalist, for more information. Check out the link in the bio for the free Bitcoin Capitalist newsletter. The Commonwealth of Dominica, located in the Caribbean, is one of the few countries which offers citizenship by investment, and yes, it has one of the most popular programs in the Caribbean. The application process takes approximately six to seven months, which is more realistic than four to six months given the increasing number of applicants which actually apply to Dominica. Dominica is becoming increasingly popular for high net worth individuals and entrepreneurs looking for a plan B when it comes to protecting their assets, diversifying their wealth, as well as given that it has zero taxes on income, wealth, and inheritance. The top three countries with the best tax benefits. Number three, 
Portugal. Portugal has rolled out attractive measures for newcomers, including a tax exemption on certain income for a period of 10 years. This program, known as the non-habitual resident, is a boon for those looking to optimize their tax situation while enjoying an outstanding quality of life. Number two, Malta. Malta isn't just a sought after tourist destination. It's also famed for its favorable tax regime. The Maltese system allows for significant reductions in corporate taxes, which, after refunds, can be as low as 5%. Moreover, individuals can also benefit from advantageous tax structures, especially when it comes to capital income. Before revealing the number one, remember to subscribe and like the video. Number one, Dubai. Part of the United Arab Emirates, Dubai isn't just a luxury tourist hotspot, it's also a tax haven. There, both individuals and businesses enjoy a complete absence of direct taxes, whether on income or profits. This policy has helped make Dubai one of the most dynamic financial hubs in the world. So, would you like to live in any of these countries? Which one? Let me know in the comments and subscribe. When it comes to Portugal, the country has been highly popular for its generous tax incentives, in particular through the non-habitual residence tax regime, which comes with a flat 20% tax rate on income and with full exemption for residents on their global income for a period of 10 years. However, this option has ended. Individuals who become tax residents in Portugal in 2024 would no longer be eligible to register under this tax regime, which places Portugal at a less favorable tax residency option for entrepreneurs and nomads. In terms of Malta, it certainly has a favorable tax regime in particular when it comes to corporate tax rates, which can be reduced to as low as 5% based on tax refunds from the authorities and which requires some sophisticated legal structuring when it comes to setting up your company there in order to fully avail these benefits. And if I speak about the UAE, it is by far the best place when it comes to having a residency from both a tax perspective and a lifestyle aspect. The UAE has zero tax on personal income, capital gains and dividends. Dubai in particular has become the most attractive city to reside in and conduct business. Although the country introduced a 9% corporate tax rate for businesses exceeding 100,000 US dollars annually in profits, it is by far lower than the US, UK, and also other financial centers such as Hong Kong and Singapore. The key thing to understand here is that the most attractive benefit of being a Dubai resident is that there is no tax on your personal income, which is a big wow factor for any entrepreneur looking to relocate. Lowest tax countries in the world. Bermuda, 0% income tax. Saudi Arabia, 0% income tax. Kuwait, 0% income tax. Monaco, 0% income tax. Bahrain, 0% income tax. Whilst all these countries offer zero income tax, there are key countries missed out, which includes the United Arab Emirates, which has zero tax on personal income and one of the most attractive, if not the best countries to reside in. There is also St. Kitts and Nevis, which offers zero income tax, as well as the Bahamas, which has become a popular jurisdiction for private banking, as well as having zero tax on income. You know how rich people avoid taxes? They have offshore bank accounts and tax havens. Duh. This is actually totally legal to do, even though in the movies they make it seem so James Bondy. You just have to make sure you report your account to the IRS if it has 10K or more in it. Report your accounts. Okay, but like, should you open one though? If you work in a foreign country, have property or investments in a foreign country, or have a business in a foreign country, then maybe why not right the process is super easy to set one up plus you'll often get higher interest rates on your deposits tax-free capital gains and more security so if you're looking to diversify your portfolio and start investing in foreign property this could be the move when obviously this is a really complex subject so let me know if you want me to do a part two see you in the cayman islands stay rich bitch offshore banking is often glamorized when it comes to the wealthy and avoiding taxes there is no legal way to keep money in a foreign bank account and avoid paying taxes, especially when it comes to being a US citizen. Offshore bank accounts are still subject to IRS reporting and taxation if you're in America. Popular destinations of offshore banking include Switzerland, the Bahamas, the Cayman Islands, the Cook Islands, and also Hong Kong, where you can set up offshore companies and even trusts for asset protection and legacy planning purposes. So there you have it. That is my honest response to these social media tax gurus. If you've enjoyed this video and want more real information like this, subscribe to stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.